It's Thursday, August 17, 2023. I'm David Ellis with the Ellis Report on Capital Media HD 99.3. To the thumping of government senators, the upper house last night said yes to the long-promised integrity bill after it was defeated in 2020. This time around, only one of the 20 senators said no. Senator, is money too? No. She argued that the fines are unusually high. $50,000, $100,000, that is, that's unusual. She was also of the view that many of the people who are going to be affected by the legislation don't have a clue about its potential impact on them and their families. Andy Armstrong of Integrity Group Barbados is relieved that the legislation has finally been passed and he's hoping for an early proclamation. That would be our hope that it's proclaimed perhaps on the 9th of December, International Anti-Corruption Day. Over in Jamaica, the Opposition People's National Party says None of its MPs are being investigated for illicit enrichment. According to the Integrity Commission's annual report tabled last month, six parliamentarians and 28 public officials are being investigated for the offence. Back in Barbados, 55 officers passed out of the Regional Police Training Centre yesterday, the highest number of officers in a single intake in years. Still in Barbados, Patrick Nathaniel Leacock has been sentenced to the rest of his natural life in jail. The 46-year-old pleaded guilty earlier to murdering his 39-year-old girlfriend in 2019 by stabbing her 24 times. Back in 2010, he was jailed for five years for the manslaughter of another girlfriend in 2004 and had nine previous convictions. Prime Minister Mogley is warning that it will be difficult to move through Bridgetown next year because of the amount of construction activity that will be taking place there. She says government is hoping to get all of the projects slated for the Bay Street area coordinated around the same time. She also says that the Defence Force headquarters will have to move to give way to tourism development. The Bankers Association of Trinidad and Tobago is warning that there's a new scam there in which an Instagram account is being used to share false information. It is urging the public to be cautious about what it says is being projected as a partnership with commercial banks in Trinidad and Tobago in an attempt to solicit funds from unsuspecting individuals. More than 60 people are feared dead after a boat carrying migrants was found off Cape Verde in West Africa. A 43-year-old Texas woman has been charged with threatening to kill the Jamaica-born judge who is overseeing a criminal case against former U.S. President Donald Trump. The woman allegedly phoned the court in Washington, D.C. earlier this month and used a racial slur in her message for Judge Tanya Chudkin. The weather forecast says that we can expect a mix of sunshine and clouds with a few brief scattered light showers. I'm David Ellis with the Ellis Report on Capital Media HD 99.3.